would a homeowner want a geothermal system? Um, you know, it, it's comfortable heat, more efficient. It's going to save you money in the long run. You know, it's, it's a little more upfront, but it's definitely going to save you, save you money in the long run. Okay, when you say save you money, what kind of money are we um, talking about? A typical uh, forced air furnace is going to be about 90%, 92%. These ones here are about 340, 350% efficient. What does that actually mean? So, if uh, what would my what would a normal heating bill per year um, be? For for every dollar you spend in in gas, you're going to get about ninety ninety two dollars or ninety two cents worth of heat out of it. Oh, so more than ninety percent of my money is coming back to me. So do you? Yes, but you're going to lose ten percent of that out the flu. This one here, it doesn't burn anything. So for every dollar you spend in electricity, you're going to get three dollars and forty cents worth of heat out of that out of that dollar of electricity. Does it really work like a, a furnace? Like what what does this do? It, it's basically yes, it's a forced air. Uh, the water comes into comes in over here, uh, it comes through the heat exchanger inside the heat pump, and the compressor compresses that water. It makes either hot air or, or hot water or cold water. And it oh. circulates up through the ductwork. Just like a standard furnace, it'll sit right in place of it. Now it's geothermal though. What does that mean? It's coming from the ground? They we, we actually extract the energy from the ground with the pipes that go in the ground. Uh, there's a water antifreeze mixture in there. So it, we pull the energy out of that, put antifreeze in it so it doesn't freeze, but then it basically makes the refrigerant pressures raise or lower for hot or cold. And where would this unit sit? Right in the basement. Would that be in the basement? Yes. Okay. Ductwork would be mounted on the top of it. And how much would a unit like this cost? Um, typically, it depends on the house, depends on the size. Typically, anywhere from fifteen to thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So, what does that mean? That's a lot of money up front. When am I getting my money back? Um, savings. If you were to buy a new furnace and air conditioner, about seven years payback over the whole thing. Okay. With the thirty percent tax credit now that's federally funded, you know, it cuts that down less yet. 30, so I could get 30% back off, right off the 30 top from the government. 30% tax credit right from the government. Oh, okay. Are any other incentives we um, should look at? Local co-ops, um, they offer lower electric rates, a little bit of rebate comes back, you know, so there's a lot of benefits to put in geothermal. Okay, great. Uh, I want to ask you one more question about the cost savings. So when you're talking about like that, that picture there. Yes. What, can we kind of walk over there? Show, sure. Tell me what this, what does this mean? Well, like how, 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 do this, how do the savings work on a scale? Well, because this is, here it says natural gas, 92% efficient. So if I had so, a natural gas furnace right now? Yes. Okay. So every dollar that you spend for natural gas, you're going to get 92 cents out of that dollar. Okay. Eight, eight cents is going to go up through the roof. All right. And $1,500 for natural Fif gas means what? How many that, a month? That's, that's an annual, annual. annual heating cost. Okay. Uh, and then geothermal? annual heating cost is $636. Less than half. Yes. Typically what you see here is, we call this a slinky loop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the pipes that are buried in the ground, the water antifreeze mixture, will circulate through these, go into the house. This is where your heat pump would sit, your ductwork would go up. Basically, the, hot wa the warm water will come in, we'll take the energy from it, push cold water back into the ground. Uh, and then in the summer, we actually take the heat from the from the house and put it back into the ground. So it's constantly cooling and heating the ground outside your house to get your your energy. This is a big hole. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, how long does um, this take? Uh, generally, within within two weeks, they could have the whole thing done. Uh, typically, average house 2,500 square feet. It'd be 30 feet wide by 100 feet long, and they would just bury the pipes in the ground.